you guys, it's me, Daisy G, coming at you, looking like a sweet tea, whoop, 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 and I am back again with another video, period. So we have seen the community posts, we have seen the thumbnails, the captions, we are finally here folks. We are dying my hair as promised. I was genuinely so excited at this point in time. It was the day before my birthday. I was getting a lighter hair color which I've been wanting for such a long time. So I started the process by detangling and separating my hair into four sections just to make the dyeing process a little bit easier. Y'all cannot tell me my hair is not giving often, often, girl, do the soft and da 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 da. Two things that could really help is do not forget your gloves, guys. You don't want to ruin your nails or your hands. It is a chemical that you are handling at the end of the day, whether you are a professional hairstylist or you are DIYing it. And another tip is to always use Vaseline on the spots that you don't want the dye to transfer on. Um, you don't want your dye, hair dye to directly touch your ears. So you can use the Vaseline as like a barrier for where you don't want the hair dye to go to. Another piece of advice that I wish I knew when I first dyed my hair is that you should be doing the process in a well ventilated and aerated area because the first time when I did it the windows were shut, the doors were closed, I tell you my eyes were watering, nose running. I was suffocating in there until my sister came inside and she was like, girl, it smells like toxic chemicals in here. You should be, in fact, you should be doing this outside because once again, these are chemicals going into your hair and you should be quite careful in handling them. So let me be your cautionary tale and please do not be like me. Please, please. I warn you guys. At this point, my hair color is coming through, honey. She's present. She's here. She's giving, don't you ever for a second get to thinking you're irreplaceable. Hoo -hoo. She's giving Beyonce. Don't hate. So applying a plastic bag after you dye your hair is very optional, okay? I only did it because I want things to cook in there. I want the juices to flow in there. I want to make sure that my hair dye comes out very even and it comes out exactly how I want it to come out. So I wore the plastic bag for 45 minutes, 45 minutes later. Um, and this was the result. I actually loved how the color was just popping. I was really excited. I could not wait to style my hair.
The shampoo and conditioner that I use lately is the Pantene range. Now, the only reason why I switched up from Dark and Lovely to Pantene is because Pantene has a little added something. It's called the Color Protect Aspect or Component, which I really like because seeing as though I'm going to be dyeing my hair quite a lot, it'll be really useful to help preserve the color, keep the hair looking vibrant, and not fading away the hair color before, you know, it's time. So I really like that about it. And another thing that I used is the Inecto um, conditioner because it comes with the packet. And I think I actually like it more than the conditioner um that i use from pantene because it left my hair feeling really really soft so i really really liked it This was now the next day and I decided to straighten my hair and you know look beautiful for my birthday. Um, I think the color came out so well. I did such a good job. I was impressed and I did it myself. And I thought the color came out exactly how I imagined it in my mind. And it was just so beautiful, so silky smooth. And I decided to put a little curl at the end just to switch things up, you know. Um, but next time I think I'm gonna go lighter. I think I'm gonna go like a nice um bright blonde this is more of like a ginger and i've i've been saying that i wanted like a nice gingery color but i've done it and i want to move on to the next color but this is beautiful
one thing about me i've been very curious about curtain bangs i've always wondered like why people have to cut their hair in a specific shape in order to achieve curtain bangs so i was like you know what let me do my own type of curtain bangs and see if they come out you know the way the same way other people's curtain bangs come out and they actually did i think i was just too scared to you know part a bigger piece of hair but if i did i would eat it up like honestly this is so cute and i don't think i feel like you don't have to go through such drastic lengths just to get a hairstyle just find a way that suits your type of hair or your hair length you don't you honestly don't have to cut it up or shape it a certain way in order for you to get curtain bangs so as soon as we find out who you are, trust you will be dealt with. Period. That is it for me you guys thank you guys so much for watching my video i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed making it but if you do like this video and you want to support a hot girl in need please like comment and subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and family let the world know about daisy g and i'll see you guys in the next one peace